Yo, yo, slap on your gloves, grab your tools of choice, and hey, meet me in your kitchen, y'all. Hey, I want to welcome you back to my channel. I am your man. Keep a cupcake cook. And hey, I got one of my... This is just one of my favorite side dishes, y'all. Just one of my favorite side dishes. I know you read that title, but I got to tell you anyway. This is a broccoli and cheese casserole, y'all. Hey, I'm just gonna tell you flat out. This is one of my favorite side dishes. Hey, but the first thing we gotta do to make this thing pop off right, we gotta go over there, preheat your oven, 375 degrees, y'all. And I'm gonna give you just a little bit of time to do that while I do this. Ah, yeah, okay. Now that we got that settled, 375 degrees, preheated oven, got my skillet. Hey, it's on a medium temp. It's coming on up. And the first thing we gonna do, y'all, hey, we gotta get this party started off with some unsalted butter, y'all. That's about three tablespoons. About three tablespoons unsalted butter. Matter of fact, as it's melting down, we going in, I'm gonna call it a cup, but it ain't quite a whole cup, yeah. But it is a half of a medium sized onion that I diced up nicely. We want to go ahead and begin to get these bad boys sweated down just a tad bit. <clears throat> we don't want to be crunching down on nothing in the casserole with no big onions. So, you know, you want to get them softened up, y'all. You want to, want to sweat them down a little bit. And we added a little bit of kosher salt to help that party go out strong. Get them waters released out of there. Ain't nothing about this dish that we want to be watery. So, hey, we want to go ahead and get those waters sweated out of those onions, y'all. And to begin to get these onions to become translucent. Are you listening to me? All right. We're going to bump this heat up from this medium dough. We're going to bring it up to a medium high flame, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I can hear the sizzling increasing. That's the sound that I like to hear. Oh, man. All right, we got our onions. They getting sweated down. In that good butter. We got to go in with some four ounces. That white bella mushroom, y'all. Now, you can give them a little bit, bit more of a rougher chop if you like. That's just a preference that I like to do, you know, right here. Now, also, this meal right here, you can use, um, you know, the Campbell's cream of mushroom soup. But hey, essentially, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make our own, y'all, cream of mushroom soup from scratch. We're gonna hit it up with another pinch of salt because these mushrooms, they need the same love, y'all. They gotta sweat down. They have to sweat down too, and we just helping the process. Cause you already know, mushrooms, y'all, it's a fungus. It's like a sponge, y'all. So they're gonna take on, they're gonna replicate the flavors that you bring to them. So that's why we gotta bring that flavor out, y'all. Gotta bring the flavor. I thought about putting a little bit of heat to it, you know, with a, um, a little bit of um, crushed red pepper flakes, and that would be the time to do that right now. But I decided not to on this. But 
yeah, you want to get these mushrooms, these onions moved around and all that good butter. Your oven is already preheated, 375 degrees. Waiting on that casserole. Never wait on your oven, y'all. You always want your oven waiting on you. Always have you some preheat, um, some hot soapy water on the ready so you can clean as you go. I am your man. We doing one of my favorites, y'all. One of my side dish favorites right here. Oh yeah. But get those onions and mushrooms a few minutes to soften up. This is a casserole, y'all. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay now, what I like to do, I like to go ahead and hit me up with a little bit of garlic paste. We're going garlic paste on this one y'all. Now if you got fresh garlic and you want to dice it up, mince it up, whatever, hey go ahead by all means. I have that too but I'm deciding to use a tablespoon of this garlic paste because it made it a little easier for me today. How about that? Once you got that garlic paste, you know, most fried and set into your mushrooms and onions, Essentially what we're going to do, we're going to build us a blonde roux, y'all. Two tablespoons, us, I mean all-purpose flour. Get that flour cooked in, but we don't want to really darken it. We just want to, you know, get it, make it blonde. Cook, cook the flour off, cook the rawness off of it. And once you've done that, because your heat is up to that medium high flame, it should make easy work for doing that. We slowly want to incorporate two cups. Now you could do half and half. You could do heavy cream. This just happened to be whole milk because I had some already in my fridge. And I didn't want to have the need to go to the store today. So hey, we using whole milk. But don't try to use 1%, 2%, stuff like that. Whole milk, heavy cream, or half and half. And remember y'all, we're on a medium high flame. So we're gonna get all of this incorporated, get it smoothed out, allow it to begin to Come back up in the simmer, thicken up, now at this stage, while it's doing its thing, it's coming back up the temp. Everything is getting incorporated over again. I like to hit it up with a little bit of better than bouillon, right? It's the mushroom base, y'all. I love this. I'm going in with a half of a teaspoon. We 
got the right tool for the job, so it makes easy work for it, y'all. Easy work. Now that was our mushroom base. We're gonna give it a little twang. This is becoming my best friend right here in the in the in the um condiment section. Little Dijon mustard. Goes a long way, y'all. We're going in with a tablespoon. Couple of dashes of W sauce. Remember y'all, it's coming up to temp. We're gonna hit it up with a little bit of my chicken seasoning right here. Gotta sweep, you gotta season that cream up, y'all. Going in with a tablespoon. Then I wanna give it a little bit of smokiness, so I'm hitting it up with some smoked paprika. And it's gonna provide a little bit of color as well. Tablespoon. Oh yeah. What you thinking about it so far, y'all? Oh yeah, see how it's thickening up? That medium high flame making easy work for it. Essentially right here, y'all, you have cream of mushroom soup. See how simple and easy that is? Instead of spending your money on canned can goods, Campbell's, or whoever else makes Laura Lynn, I've seen before. I've seen a couple of them. Can't remember them all by name, but you know what I'm talking about. It's so easy to make these things, but we go out and buy all these cans. Cause we want to, yeah, it's okay to make certain things a little bit more simplified. That's fine. Okay, we're going to bring a little bit more creaminess to the party. I got me a tablespoon sour cream going in. Just want to get that moved around, get it incorporated into your sauce, into your cream of mushroom soup. Are you listening to me? If you are, give me that thumbs up, y'all. And if you're liking this video, definitely give me the thumbs up. If you happen to be new to this channel and you're loving this, hey, by all means, at any time during this video, Scroll over there, y'all. Hit that subscribe button for me. And everybody hit that notification bell that you're notified every time you're man. Come on. Keep a cup can cook. You're dropping another video on you, y'all. And everybody, man, go tell somebody that there's another dude out here, y'all. And he doing it, y'all. And he bringing it to you. And he bringing it right before your very eyes. Keep a cup can cook. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay, now, the next thing that I like to do, we're going to build it up a little bit. We got us some chicken broth right here. I'm gonna increase my temp to a high flame. Cause essentially when I bring this to the party, 
It's going to cool everything down. But you see my simmer that I have now. A cup of chicken broth, y'all. Then I have me, this is like, let me see. I'm going to say this ain't nothing but like an ounce of diced pimento. Now this is totally optional, y'all. I like them in my casseroles. And frankly, I already had a, a, a jar in my fridge that was it was open. So, and it gives a pop of color, y'all. And it gives a pop of color. Come on, y'all. Get with me. Get with me. All right, y'all, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and allow this to come on up to temp. I'm gonna hit it up with one last little pinch of cracked black pepper, and I'm gonna let it sit there and do its thing. But I'm gonna let that heat come on up, get my simmer rolling, and then, hey, I tell you what, I'll be back. We're gonna clean up this workstation just a tad bit, cause remember y'all, always have you some hot soapy water on the ready, y'all. That's right, I am your man. Keep a cup can cook, and we into it deep right now, y'all. Hey, this is one of my favorite side dishes, y'all. Broccoli and cheese casserole. All right, my YouTube fam, hey, I'm back. You see my nice little simmer going on right here? Give it a nice little stir. You don't want nothing to begin to burn, stick to the bottom of your skillet, pot, whatever you're using. Now, at this time, if you're not sure, this is the time. Go ahead and give your soup mixture a taste a final tasting but remember y'all we using cheese cheese packs a little sodium so don't go overboard with it okay after you give it a nice little stir what I'm gonna do I'm gonna reduce it down to a low or you can cut it all the way off if you want to yeah. Matter of fact, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut it all the way off. While it's coming down, I'm gonna come up. Ah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I'm gonna slap me on a little glove. Now, right here. I got me probably one ounce, y'all, that I shredded up. This that smoked gouda with bacon, y'all. Now, if, if you don't like the pork, just get the regular smoked gouda or get Parmesan cheese, get mozzarella cheese, get Monterey Jack. You get the point. You know, it's yours. Do what you feel like you want to do. But this is smoked gouda with bacon. Oh, man. And the smell. It's so amazing. One of these days, I'm gonna go somewhere and I'm gonna tour a cheese factory, y'all, just to see how they get down with it, y'all. Just love the smell of different cheeses, y'all. How they come up with these things. And see how nicely it melts and fast because you shredded it yourself y'all you don't have all those caking elements and 
starches and flours that's attached to those that's in those pre-shredded packages in your refrigerator section of your grocery store y'all shred it yourself it melts much easier faster and even evenly are you listening to me okay now what I want to do I got me some broccoli right here y'all you know that's what it is right broccoli and cheese casserole that's about uh, I'm gonna say maybe two to three cups of broccoli oh this is frozen broccoli y'all now if you got the fresh by all means use it I just happened to have some frozen already in the, in the freezer so I took it out in ample enough time got it thawed out got the waters drained off of it cut the florets the big ones that was too big cut those into small manageable manageable pieces here we go right right here y'all Can you see it coming together right before your very eyes, y'all? Can you see it coming together? And the last thing I need to bring to the party, y'all, well, not the very last, but hey, I got me a cup that's cooked rice right there, y'all. I may or I may not use that whole cup. I think I will do. Oh yeah. Want to get that rice covered, incorporated as well. You want to get the broccoli lubricated and all is good. Cream of mushroom cheese sauce. Oh my goodness, y'all. Can you imagine, y'all? What is your brain telling you at this point? On how I'm bringing it right before your very eye. You can, you can see it coming to life, y'all. You can see it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And remember y'all, we just working on residual heat right here, y'all. That's it. No flame is attached to this. Okay, now, I gotta get my casserole dish. I did say broccoli and cheese casserole. So, get your casserole dish together. I just so happen to have mine already right here. And I got it sprayed with some butter spray. Or you could use some regular butter, smear it around. I like to do that from time to time. Give me a paper towel, smear me some softened butter, and just roll it around. You know, I like to do that. Okay, but for the sake of this video, I already prepared it with some, um, butter spray and then we're just gonna incorporate it our mixture into our casserole dish and just because <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking I'm gonna go on here and I got me some medium cheddar right here. I thought I was, um, thought I had some sharp cheddar, but it ended up being medium cheddar that I have in my fridge. I also shredded that up too, y'all. But we're just gonna introduce a little bit right here, y'all. That's what cooking is, y'all. Just gotta have an imagination. It's an art form. I ain't think, you know, this. I just came up with doing it like this, just that quick. 
just that quick. I did say broccoli and cheese. Yeah. I hear my oven over there. It's clicking away. It's hungry, waiting on me. Like I said, have it waiting on you. You shouldn't wait on the oven. Oh uh, yeah, you wanna smooth it out as much as possible. gonna go ahead and kick this on off the screen got us some more dirty dishes to attend to but that's okay because we make it easy work for it because we already got hot soapy water on the ready right that's right all right now give it a little shaky shake and then remember the rest of that cheese yep you guessed it right up over the top Got my mouth water. This is four four ounces of uh, medium cheddar that I grated up, y'all. Yeah. Four ounces. Get it moved around as neat as possible. And you know me. Got to have some parsley flakes somewhere in there. But if you don't know, or you didn't know, that means you're new to my channel. I'm gonna ask that you go ahead over there, and hit that subscribe button, y'all. And understand that your man, Keep A Cup Can Cook, will be dropping some videos on you. Fast and furious, y'all. All right, here I got me one of those sleeves of Ritz crackers. Just going over the top, just for a little texture. That's all that is, just for a little bit of texture. A little crunch, as we say in the cooking industry. Now, you can add some butter to them if you want to, but I decided not to because I got butter in the dish. The cheese has this liquid that it's gonna you already know this. You know what I'm talking about, y'all. Hey, enough of that fat lipping, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in that 375 degree preheated oven. I give you one more look right before we go into that oven. <laughs> and the next time you hear my voice, I guarantee you this is gonna be brown and bubbly. And I'm still gonna be keeping my cup. I'll be back, y'all. We doing it, y'all. Broccoli. Mm-hmm. And cheese casserole. All right, fam. I told you, next time you hear my voice, that's gonna be brown, nice, bubbly, cooled off. Hey, I had it in that 375 degree oven for 20 minutes, y'all. Get everything heated through, cooked. Get that broccoli nice, the way it need to be. Hey, then allow it to sit 10, 15 minutes, y'all. And just rest a little bit, y'all. You know, we gotta stop being in a rush to dig in. Hey, but I'm ready to dig in now. How about that? I'm ready to dig in now. Got my plate. Oh. I just so happen to have a little bit more of the parsley flakes. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Get with me, man. 
get with me. That means hit that subscribe button, y'all. I am your man. Keep a cup can cook. Hey, this is one of the this is one of my, the best, one of my best favorite side dishes right here, y'all. Broccoli and cheese casserole. Let's get into this bad boy. I like the way that the cracker crumb give it that texture at the top. Give it that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that, y'all. Look at that, y'all. It don't get no better than that right there, y'all. It don't get no better than that right there, y'all. Come on. You got to give me the thumbs up. We gonna blow the roof off with this one right here, y'all. Broccoli and cheese casserole. Whew. Oh my goodness, y'all. Come on. There it is. And here I am. Keep a cup. Yes. Can cook. One more gander. And I'm out of here, y'all. Thank you. Bye.